good evening children welcome to akshara iit foundation this is srinivas your math faculty welcome to today's class right so we have already discussed some points regards quadratic equation right nothing but the properties of a quadratic equation what are they see this one if a quadratic equation is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 nothing but its general form am i right now see the first one if a and c are having the same sign then the product of root product of roots c by a is positive this is the point we have discussed in our earlier classes okay in a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 where a nothing but x square constant x square coefficient and constant term c both are same sign then we can take that c by a also a positive that means same sign is nothing but positive here whether they can be both a and c are negative a and c are positive we will get c by a product of roots is positive this is one point we discussed and a and c are opposite sign then product is negative product of roots nothing but c by a value is negative second point we have discussed already now coming to this one in ax square plus bx plus c quadratic equation if you take a plus b plus c value is 0 then 1 and c by a both can be here 1 and c by a are roots these two are roots for the quadratic equation that means without doing the regular process like factorization splitting the middle term or completing square method or by using the quadratic formula we can identify the factors of a quadratic equation when a plus b plus c value equals to 0 then 1 and c by a are two roots of the quadratic equation right next what is the second condition a plus b minus c am i right no a minus b plus c a minus b plus c equals to 0 then minus 1 and minus c by a are roots okay here minus 1 and minus c by a are roots previous one 1 comma c by a are roots of the quadratic equation next if the roots of quadratic equation roots of a quadratic equation are negative roots are negative then all are having the same sign we have discussed already with an example okay na right so next one if the roots are positive that means both roots like alpha value beta value both are positives alpha comma beta are roots of quadratic equation here if both are positive then a and c a comma c will have the same sign b will be different that means b will be different that means x square coefficient a constant term both will same sign that means whether they can be positive or negative both are positive or both are negative but b will be exactly opposite to the sign that means a and c are positive b will be negative and a and c are negative b will be positive if they are positive then b is negative if a and c are negative then b is positive okay we have discussed in our earlier classes next see here if the roots of the general form of a quadratic equation are re reciprocal to each other are reciprocal to each other reciprocal means what nothing but multiplicative inverse for example if i am writing 5 by 3 what is the reciprocal of 5 by 3 very good 3 by 5 
that means the position of numerator and denominator will be changes am i right yeah simply like a statement if a into b equals to 1 then a and b are called reciprocals to each other or multiplicative inverse of each other okay na right in same way if you take 5 by 3 its reciprocal is 3 by 5 reciprocal is 3 by 5 now we are given that uh, roots are reciprocal to each other that means if you take one of the root is 5 by 3 obviously second root is 3 by 5 now if you take one of the root is alpha what is the second root 1 by alpha alpha is nothing but alpha by 1 Its reciprocal is one by alpha. Okay, na? So if a quadratic equation having the roots like this, roots are in the form like this, then a value is equals to c. That means x square coefficient constant term both will be equal. Okay. Here you should remember one point. For example, if I am taking uh, 2x square plus 5x plus 2. Check here. X square coefficient 2, constant term also 2. That doesn't mean the reciprocal. Uh, the roots of the quadratic equation are need not be reciprocal. If the roots are reciprocal, then definitely the x square coefficient and constant term will be equal. But For every equation, if you consider like if you take an equation blindly like this, a value and c value equal, it doesn't mean their roots are reciprocal. Okay, na? It doesn't mean their roots are reciprocal. Clear? If reciprocal, a and c values are equal, but a and c a values are equal, we cannot consider the roots are reciprocals. Okay. Next. Your roots are equal in magnitude. In the magnitude means in the measure wise. That is nothing but five centimeters. If another one also five, like five or five, six or six, same same measurement. And opposite sign. That means roots are one minus one, or two minus two, three minus three, like this. If you are having the same roots in magnitude wise. But the different in symbol wise. One is positive, second one is negative. Then definitely, x coefficient becomes zero. X coefficient is zero. Nothing but b value. So this will happen when x plus y whole square, x minus y whole square. When you expand this value, find out the value of this, you will get the different signs. But b value becomes zero. In such a way, we can take a plus b into a minus b. Simply, we can take a plus b into a minus b condition. Okay, na? Simply, we have to take a plus b into a minus b condition. Then magnitude-wise, roots are equal, but their symbols are opposite to each other. That means one is positive, two, another one is always negative. Clear? So mainly you should remember the conditions. What are that? A plus b plus c equals to zero. Then roots are one and c by a. One and c by a. C by a is nothing but product of roots. Most important property. And second property is a minus b plus c equals to zero. Then the roots are minus one and minus c by a. Okay. Right. Remember those two concepts mostly. Next transformation of equations. Transformation of equations. This one. If alpha comma beta are the roots of a quadratic equation, the quadratic equation is given like this: f of x equals to a x square plus b x plus c equals zero. Nothing but its general form only. And then the quadratic equation whose roots. That means for this general form, a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero. Here roots are alpha comma beta. 
in case roots are 1 by alpha and 1 by beta roots are 1 by alpha see here for example i am taking 3 and 5 are two roots then what is the quadratic equation that means alpha comma beta are roots we are writing the quadratic equation as x square minus alpha plus beta into x minus alpha beta this is the quadratic equation right so in the place of alpha we know the root 3 in the place of beta 5 then how you find x square minus alpha plus beta 3 plus 5 8 x minus alpha into beta 3 5 is 15 this is we are considering as f of x this is considering as f of x f of x is a quadratic equation which contains the roots 3 and 5 okay now 1 by 3 and 1 by 5 are roots then f of 1 by x is the quadratic equation for these roots if 3 and 5 are roots this is the quadratic equation 1 by 3 and 1 by 5 are roots then f of 1 by x will be the quadratic equation for the respective roots 1 by 3 and 1 by 5 ok na? right ok now I am going to the next one yeah this is very important roots are negative first root is alpha sorry negative alpha and negative beta minus alpha and minus beta are roots of f of x equal to 0 is f of minus x actually alpha comma beta are roots of f of x equal to 0 in case minus alpha minus beta are roots then its quadratic equation will be f of minus x same like previous one 3 and 5 are quadratic equation roots of a quadratic equation we got one equation right x square minus 8x plus 15 equal to 0 that is f of x in case 1 by 3 and 1 by 5 are roots we will get f of 1 by x for reciprocal 1 by alpha 1 by beta we got 1 by x same way for alpha for alpha and beta we got f of x is equal to 0 then minus alpha minus beta is f of minus x okay yeah 1 by alpha 1 by beta means quadratic equation is f of 1 by x minus alpha minus beta then the quadratic equation is f of minus x hmm? same way alpha plus k here adding one constant where k is a constant alpha plus k comma beta plus k are roots of this f of x equal to 0 then the equation is this f of x minus k here you should identify that here plus k is given but in the required equation we need to take x minus k okay in case alpha minus k beta minus k are roots of f of x then required equation is f of x plus k that means for positive symbol we need to take negative for negative constant we have to take positive okay na? here constant is what k value positive k we have extra constant values to the roots then we have x minus k is a quadratic equation f of x minus k is a quadratic equation same way alpha minus k uh, beta minus k are roots the required quadratic equation is f of x plus k symbols are different but 1 by alpha 1 by beta f of 1 by x minus alpha minus beta f of minus x but only these two conditions we are taking in reverse order okay now that is depending on the factor theorem actually don't be confused right same this one we have discussed in earlier alpha minus k beta minus k are roots then equation is f of x plus k equal to 0 ok same way now k is a constant or multiple of something that means alpha is multiplied by k k is a constant there k into alpha k into beta here k is multiplying 
But the series equation in record equation we are dividing. Multiply opposite symbol dividing. That means we are transposing it. Okay. So let us find the answers for these three concepts. These these concepts. Then we we will go uh, we will go to continue the remaining concepts. Okay. Once revise. Yeah. So mainly you remember this. If a plus b plus c equals to zero, then what are the roots? One and c by a. One and c by a. A minus b plus c equals to zero. Then minus one and minus c by a, and transformations, one by alpha, one by beta are roots. Then required quadratic equation is f of one by x. Same way, minus alpha minus beta are roots. F of minus x equals to zero. Then alpha plus k, beta plus k are roots. Then f of X minus k. Here positive means negative. We should take such a way. Alpha minus k, beta minus k are roots. Then the quadratic equation is f of x plus k equal to zero. Same way, k into x, sir, k into alpha, k into beta are roots. Then f of x by k is our required equation. Clear? Yeah. Conceptual basic questions here. <clears throat> If one is the root of a x square plus b x plus c equals to zero, when we get one is the root, one c by a are roots when the condition is a plus b plus c equal to zero. A plus B plus C equals to zero. So our option is two. Okay, na? No? Or else see how I am doing this. How it? How the condition is satisfying like this? Actually, what is root? Root of a quadratic equation. We can call root of a quadratic equation or zero of a quadratic equation. That means for some value. When the quadratic equation becomes zero, that value is called root of the quadratic equation. For example, I am substituting five in a such in a such ten quadratic equation. The entire equation value becomes zero. We can call that the five is the root of the quadratic equation. Same way, here given that five is quadrat uh, root of quadratic equation, that means. F of five equals to zero, where f of x is quadratic equation. No, f of five equals to zero. That means when you substitute, it should be equals to zero. See, we here clearly given one is root. One is root means we need to substitute here. That means in the place of x, we have to substitute one. A into one square. That means in the place of x, x square. In the place of x, one, one square. B into x. That means b into one plus c equals to zero. One square value one. A into one a only plus b into one b plus c equal to zero. If one is the root, when you substitute in the given quadratic equation, we will get the condition like this. In same way, in the question is given. The condition is given. If a plus b plus c equals to zero, one is the root. Obviously. Okay, right. Second one. What is the second condition? A minus b plus c equal to zero. Now tell me that what are the roots? Very good. What are the roots? Minus one and minus c by a. Very good. Your roots are minus one, minus c by a. So in your option, you have to find. That means both together will give. No problem. Otherwise, minus one give means you can keep minus one, or minus c by a means you can keep minus c by a. Anything you choose. I think will be given like this one. Minus one comma minus c by a will be given. Yeah. See here, alpha, beta are roots of this quadratic equation. 
a quadratic equation is given i am writing f of x equal to x square minus 2x plus 3 equal to 0 this is the given quadratic equation and then the equation whose roots are alpha minus 3 beta minus 3 so it is looking like alpha minus k beta minus k in earlier we have discussed about these conditions if alpha minus k beta minus k are roots of the quadratic equation then the required equation is f of x plus k f of x plus k equal to 0 am i right so here what will be the required equation very good f of x plus 3 equal to 0 f of x plus 3 equal to 0 this is our required equation okay na? from the conditions we learned here k value is nothing but 3 x plus 3 but we have to find the quadratic equation now that means see here in the place of in the place of x in the place of x what is being here x plus 3 in the place of x we can have x plus 3 that means whenever you see the quadratic equation with the term or with the variable x we have to substitute x plus 3 now check what is f of x x square that means f of x plus 3 is nothing but uh, in the place of f, x square means here you should write x plus 3 whole square only x that's why we got x square but here x plus 3 in the place of x we have to substitute x plus 3 whole square now minus 2x in the place of x we should write uh, x plus 3 2x means 2 into x here also 2 into x plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 0 constant now next see that first one x plus 3 whole square x plus 3 whole square that is nothing but in the form of one of the algebraic identity a plus b whole square formula what is a plus b whole square formula children very good a square plus 2ab plus b square or a square plus b square plus 2ab anything same now i am expanding like that here what is a a means x b means 3 a plus b whole square expansion a square so x square plus b square 3 square plus 2ab 2 into x into 3 i'm just expanding the first term because it is looking like a plus b whole square so a square plus b square plus 2ab next this one minus 2 into x plus 3 the bracket 2 terms should be multiplied with minus 2 so minus 2 into x minus 2x minus 2 into 3 minus 6 last constant term plus 3 as it is equal to 0 now check x square is as it is 3 square value 3 square is nothing but 3 into 3 3 3 is our 9 plus 2 into 3 6 6 into x 6 x minus 2 x minus 6 plus 3 equal to 0 simplify that means add or subtract the like terms x square is only one single term we cannot change now check the text terms plus 6 x minus 2 x 6 x minus 2 x is 4 x 6 is bigger than 2 so 6 symbol positive you will get 4x as positive now numbers 9 9 minus 6 3 9 minus 6 3 3 plus 3 6 so what is our required quadratic equation x square plus 4x plus 6 equals to 0 that is nothing but option 2 x square plus 4x plus 6 equal to 0 Okay, no? like this we should write. It is an example for that. 
अल्फा माइनस के बेटा माइनस के आर रूट एफ ऑफ एक्स प्लस के हो गया राइटिंग मीन्स वेन एवर यू सी द एक्स वैल्यू इन द प्लेस ऑफ एक्स वैल्यू वी शुड सब्सिट्यूट एक्स प्लस के Here we got x plus three. That means we have to substitute x plus three in the place of x. After simplifying, we will get the quadratic equation x square plus four x plus six equals to zero. Please note it, children. Right. So let us go to the next problem. Yeah. So this is x square, children. <coughs> If alpha, beta are the roots of x square minus 2x plus 3 equal to zero, so let me take the given quadratic equation f of x equal to x square minus 2x plus 3 equal to zero. <coughs> This is the quadratic equation. Then the equation whose roots are alpha plus 2, beta plus 2. Yeah, did you get that? What will be the required quadratic equation if f of x is x square minus 2x plus 3 is equal to zero? Then what is the required quadratic equation, children? F of x minus k. What is the k value here? Two. That means f of x minus two is our required quadratic equation. Okay, na? Yeah, here I have written. If alpha minus k, beta minus k are roots, or alpha comma beta are roots of f of x, then alpha minus k, beta minus k are roots of f of x plus k. Same condition we are applying here. Yeah, our required equation, our required quadratic equation is f of X minus two, where two is the constant, alpha plus k, beta plus k. Nothing but alpha plus two, beta plus two, f of x minus two are required answer. Now I am going to substitute here in the place of x. What to write? X minus two. Here only I am substituting. X minus two, whole square, minus two into x minus two. Plus three. Constant term is not affected. Wherever you can see the variable term, in the place of variable only, we need to substitute x minus two. Okay, in the place of x, we need to substitute x minus two. Right. Which formula it is appearing like? First one, this one. Yeah, it is looking like a minus b whole square formula. Yeah, just tell me that a minus b whole square formula, children. Yeah, a square plus b square. Minus 2ab or a square minus 2ab plus b square. Anything is same. Yeah. According to you, I am writing here a minus b whole square formula is nothing but a square plus b square minus 2ab. Am I right? Now x minus 2 whole square formula. X minus 2 whole square. I can write as X minus two means, yeah, first term, x square plus two square minus two ab. That means two into x into b value is two. X square plus b square minus two ab. Here minus two. We have to multiply with minus two. Minus two into x minus two x, and minus or minus plus two two zero four plus. Three. Right. Expand this. X square. Two square value four. Minus two two is four. Four into x four x. X minus two x. Four plus three seven. I can write. Four plus three seven. Next. X square term only single term. I can write directly as it is. Now x terms. Minus 4x minus 2x, both are negatives. We can add with the negative symbol. So minus 4x minus 2x is minus 6x. Now remaining numbers, 4 and 7. 4 plus 7 is 
Therefore, our required equation is x square minus 6x plus 11 equal to 0. That means equation number 1. x square minus 6x plus 11 equals to 0. Okay, no? Yeah, please check. And once revise the concept. Again, you go through the concept today. We will discuss the remaining topics, related topics regarding the transformation of quadratic equations in our next class. Okay, now so just revise these concepts. Very very important. See here. Today, what we have learned here. Yeah. Here onwards, transformation of equations. Alpha, beta are roots of the quadratic equation. Then 1 by alpha, 1 by beta are roots of the quadratic equation f of 1 by x. f of 1 by x. Same way, alpha, beta are roots of f of x, the quadratic equation general form. Then minus alpha, minus beta are roots of f of minus x. Next, alpha plus k, beta plus k are roots of alpha beta roots of f of x then alpha plus k beta plus k are roots of f of x minus k positive means we have to take negative for negative value we should take positive same way alpha minus k beta minus k are roots of f of x plus k equal to 0 and k into alpha k into beta that means alpha beta are roots of f of x then k into alpha and k into beta are roots of f of x by a equal to 0. And based on this, we did the problems. Yeah, first problem, based on conditions. And this is, check. This is the last problem we have discussed. Clear? Yeah. That's it for today, children. Thank you, one and all. Have a nice day. See you in next class.